Where do all black people originate from? Most people think Africa is the only land where black people live, but you will be surprised to know that the truth is the opposite. The earliest humans originated in Africa but migrated to Asia, Europe, and other continents where they lived as natives. But besides European and American blacks, people don't know about the black Asians, Australians, and Pacific Islanders who have lived there for thousands of years. They even have exchanged genes with Asians and Australians, becoming unique and beautiful black tribes. But how are they and what's their story? Welcome to a new episode of Black Culture Diary, a channel where we talk about less known and hidden black history, culture, arts, and lost civilization. We scrutinize history here to bring the black culture back on the surface again. In this episode, we will tell you about the native forgotten black tribes of Asia, Australia, and the Pacific. Let's get started. Number one, Sidi, Habshi, Shidas, and Makrani. The Sidi people are an ethnic group in India who trace their ancestry to the Bantu peoples of southeastern Africa. They were brought to India as slaves or through the Arab slave trade and are mainly found in the western states of Gujarat, Maharashtra, Karnataka, and Hyderabad. Over time, they have developed their distinct culture and traditions, blending aspects of their African and Indian heritage. Today, they live like normal Indians. However, they have a sense of their Indian identity. Similarly, the Habshi people are an African community living in India for generations. They are believed to be descendants of Ethiopian soldiers and traders who came to India during the medieval period. The Habshi are mainly found in the western state of Gujarat, where they have integrated into local society while also maintaining their own unique cultural traditions. In Pakistan, the Shidis are an ethnic group of African descent who live in the province of Sindh. They are believed to be descended from African slaves and traders brought to the Indian subcontinent by Arab and Portuguese traders. The Makrani people are another community of African descent in Pakistan who live in the coastal areas of Balochistan. They are believed to be descended from African slaves and traders who came to the region through the Arab slave trade. The Makrani have a distinct culture and identity, incorporating elements of their African and Pakistani heritage elements. They have their own language, music, and dance, and have made significant contributions to the culture and society of Balochistan. Number two. Australian Aborigines Black tribes living in Australia are called the Australian Aborigines. Interestingly, it is not widely known, but the truth is they have been living in Australia for over 60,000 years. They migrated from Africa, and after detouring, they reached Australia and started living as hunter-gatherers. Their way of living was simple. They lived off the land and profoundly respected the natural world. They believed they were spiritually connected to the land and that their culture and beliefs were closely tied to the animals and plants they encountered. Even today, many Australian Aborigines still maintain their cultural traditions, although their way of life has changed significantly due to the impact of colonialism and modernization. Some still live in remote communities, maintaining a deep connection to their traditional lands, while others have moved to urban areas. Number 3. The Negrito People the Negrito people are the ethnic group believed to be the earliest inhabitants of Southeast Asia and the Philippines. They are Filipino indigenous people who arrived in Asia about 50,000 years ago. They are recognized by their small stature, dark skin, and curly or frizzy hair, which make them distinctively very different and unique from the black Africans of today. Since humans came to every continent from Africa, it is believed that the Negrito people were the first humans to settle in Southeast Asia. About 50,000 years ago, they migrated from Africa, reached India, and then reached Southeast Asia. On reaching, the Negrito people started living as hunter-gatherers, relying on the forests for food and resources. They were also skilled in crafting and using bows, arrows, knives, and fishing nets. Some groups still live as hunter-gatherers while others have adapted to modern life but still retain their distinct cultural practices. Before we continue further, tell us, are you enjoying the video? If yes, please like and share the video and subscribe to our channel to watch more videos on black culture, history, civilization, and natural superiority. Let's continue now. Number 4. Pacific Islanders People living on the Pacific Islands are called Pacific Islanders. However, this term is often used in a racial context. Pacific Islanders do not necessarily mean black people since they contain people of subgroups like Melanesia, Micronesia, and Polynesia. The Melanesian people are the actual black tribes that inhabit the Pacific Islands. The reason why they are called Melanesian lies in the name itself. 
The term Melanesian comes from melanin, a pigment that darkens human skin. Since black Africans have dark complexions, they are referred to as Melanesians. However, people living in the Solomon Islands called Solomon Islanders are also black, but they are unique to the rest of the black people you might have seen. They are the only black tribe on the planet with blonde hair. Pacific and Solomon Islanders have lived in the regions for thousands of years, and their societies and cultures have evolved. Historically, many Pacific Islanders were seafarers and navigators, using their knowledge of the stars, currents, and winds to travel long distances across the ocean. Perhaps they migrated from Africa and reached the Pacific and Solomon Islands due to their knowledge of navigation. They were skilled fishermen, farmers, and craftspeople, and developed complex systems of social organization, religion, and governance. Number 5. The Andamanese The Andaman Islands are the home to the Andamanese, a group of indigenous black African people. Historically, they lived a hunter-gatherer lifestyle and have lived in substantial isolation for thousands of years. It is suggested that the Andamanese settled in the Andaman Islands during the last glacial maximum, which occurred around 26,000 years ago. The Andamanese are made up of several distinct groups of people, including the Great Andamanese and Jarawas of the Great Andaman Archipelago, the Jangle of Rutland Island, the Ange of Little Andaman, and the Sentinelese of North Senwa Island. The Sentinelese are particularly noteworthy for actively resisting outside influence and have been known to attack and even kill anyone who attempts to invade their islands. Most of the Andamanese have a distinct physical appearance that resembles African people, with dark skin and unique facial features. Despite their isolation, they have developed their own rich cultural traditions, including unique languages, music, and dance. Number 6. The Tamil The Tamil people are a Dravidian ethno-linguistic group with a distinct physical appearance characterized by dark skin and unique facial features. Although they don't identify as black, their physical traits suggest otherwise. They originate mainly from the southern Indian state of Tamil Nadu and Sri Lanka. In India, they constitute 5.9% of the population, while in Sri Lanka, they comprise 15%. Aside from the Tamils, the Telugu people in India are another group with a dark complexion. Although there have been suggestions of a possible kinship between the Tamil people and the people of the Horn of Africa, this claim remains scientifically unconfirmed. Despite this, the Tamil people are considered the most original and indigenous tribe in India, with a rich cultural heritage that dates back thousands of years. Number 7. The Papuans The Papuans are the native inhabitants of Papua New Guinea and West Papua. It is believed that they arrived in the region over 40,000 years ago and have since been divided into hundreds of distinct ethnic groups, with a total of over 820 language groups, making it the country with the highest linguistic diversity on the planet. Papuans have a physical appearance similar to African people, including kinky to woolly hair, broad noses, and dark to brown complexions. Despite this, genetically, they are part of the broader Melanesian people. Like other black tribes, they also came from Africa, reaching Papua New Guinea when no humans inhabited it. Did you know that black people live throughout the world and in some of the far-flung places? What if a new study is done about them? Do you think explorers will find black Africans totally different from the rest? Let us know your opinions on the possibility of black tribes living in distant lands humans have not reached yet. What if wild forests have black tribes living and forming a new human society? Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon next to it. We have decided to bring videos on something nobody is talking about. The black culture, civilization, history, and the evidence proving black superiority. Thanks for watching, and until the next video, stay tuned.